Hi, this is Fast Track Video, and my name is Ed, and uh, this is a great moment. I want to share uh, everybody what I know about some of these things. It's taken me a couple months to learn. This little melody I came up with today, it was done in one hour, and I'm going to go over, you know, each one of these tracks. I'm not being endorsed by any of these companies. If anything, it would promote people to use the blocks more and to be a little more uh, like me learning these plugins because each one of them ta will take some time to learn in order to master them. And when you get to master a plugin, then you can do some fun, fancy things. These things I'm going to show today are presets but wrapped around some melodic notes that I'm going to do through uh, you know, the rolly block. Now, the one thing I want to emphasize in terms of the block is, I know this is June 12th, and they just came out with a touch pad block that, I, that will adjust the velocity levels, so it kind of brings consistency with these uh, notes on the block. Because if I do this, you can see that it, it was hard on one, but I'm not really pressing hard. I'm trying to be consistent with hitting those notes on the block. And this is something when you probably start learning with the block and you go outside of noise. I went from learning noise first to learning the block and noise to learning this today uh, to understand the dashboard and to get things uh, connected with the blocks to the dashboard and from the dashboard being able to communicate through Studio One. I have Studio One in here and four modules, four plugins, and it's running on a Surface Pro 3, 1.9 gigahertz processor with 8, meg, 8 gigs of RAM, and about a 300 gig hard drive, which is practically filled up now with all these different presets and WAV files and stuff. There's, we're only going to use one looping mechanism here today, but we'll, let's go and start this because it's fast track video, and you'll see how things work in this. I'm going to do my best. There we have track one, which is the Omnisphere. Now we're going to go into swams, and I want to go. I want to briefly go into this because some of, some people might have bought this thing. It's very expensive, and then all of a sudden they're like, "I can't get my blocks to work." And this took a little time, but somehow with some of the readings and stuff, I found a way of doing it, and I realized that with this plugin, it's more tailored to the keyboard than it would be to a rolly block. But if you go into options down here, and I know I, I, this is the best way I can actually present this thing to you. It's the first line at the top here, uh, which is the, uh, I forget what you call it here. Earth, I can't even read it. <laughs> Expression. You know, you click on that. It's normally, deep, by default, CC11. You go to AT. You scroll all the way to the bottom and use AT. And then you basically back out of this. And then now you can hear, you can see that this is really sounding like a violin. So, and uh, we're going to do, uh, we're going to play another uh, track here. So I'm going to rewind back here to the beginning. Make sure that I get back there. Um, this is a, a mouse pad. All right, we're going to record.
Okay, that's as far as I want to go with that. Now we're going to move on to the saxophone. And the saxophone is the same thing. You go into options, you go into your MIDI, make sure you have the expressions as AT, and you're all set. You'll sound like this. So we're going to do something here. All right. Let's go and play this. We'll go back to the beginning and once again. song is called Can You Help Me? That's all I want to add there with the music on the saxophone there so you see a little bit of all of this. Now we're going to go to Bit Tweaker. And this is an interesting tool in itself. Although, hopefully I have this already in pack here. Oops. How did I get out of it? Oh boy. So, I am, what I'm going to do, I think I already have this set. It's already set for a loop. Yeah, so let's just record it. I'll go back here, make sure I got it recorded. <laughs> It's a funky thing. I just wanted to really show how I could get these plugins. Some people said, oh, you can't do it with a Surface Pro. Well, yes, I can. Well, you know, maybe this is not really the best thing to be used for rolly blocks in here, but I wanted to get this to show to people how this can be done so that you can enjoy your blocks on a DAW, number one. And number two, you might want to move into a mastering a plugin like Bit Tweaker. Bit Tweaker was really crazy kind of uh, tweaky sound beats, uh, but all of them were developed in the plugin. So I, that's where I'm thinking, wow, you know, I could actually spend a year just trying to figure that one out to get that. That was a preset. Everything on that Bit Tweaker is a preset. It's by Isotope, uh, Swams. You have the saxophones and the viola and on this sphere too. And this is a uh, fast track video. And uh, I want to conclude. If you love music the way you love God, you will never ever be the same.